right, we got playback. Keith Lee is getting death threats over food reviews. So I think Keith Lee is the TikTok food inspector or the um food chef. Bro, right, what's the noise? Oh, that's right. Keep on forgetting to do that. My fault. My bad. He started coming into play. That's where I draw the line at. But what can't happen is with my family or the restaurants or anybody's safety start coming into play. Yeah. We're absolutely overboard. Black people are upset. <laughs> Over food, bro. <laughs> well, it makes sense because <laughs> black people and food, you know, <laughs> you don't let no one take your cornbread. But still, over de over food reviews is crazy. For criticizing black owned restaurants because they just believe that as black people, we're just supposed to blindly support other black people. That's the real problem. Agent and low playback. Shout out to them. Accept criticism when it comes to black people because y'all think y'all are entitled to black dollars. Shout out to Keith Lee. Brother Keith Lee went down to Atlanta to talk about some of the food restaurants. For those who don't know, Keith Lee is a TikToker who is a food critic. And yeah. um, for the most part, he's been ultra positive. There's been several videos that we were going to record on this channel where people were trying to tear him down but we decided not to give him no energy but as us as two people who are residents of atlanta mm -hmm. as someone who has grown up in atlanta mm -hmm. and looking at what's happening after he left atlanta mm -hmm. um i deem it necessary for us to make a video about this because this is crazy it's insane we're about to go back on tour the fifth spot of the family food tour atlanta will be there soon if you know he's zooming on his face like that food, great customer service but need the marketing Please either email me, DM me, or leave them in the comments below. God bless you. Have an amazing day. Y'all be safe. Atlanta, here we come. Every restaurant that me and my family go to, we were either A, invited by the restaurant themselves, or B, was told about the restaurant 100 plus times from locals, from people who mention me, from people who email me, DM me. 99% of the time, I never go to a random restaurant. With that being said, my opinion was asked for. So many narratives is being pushed, and it's insane to me. I'm lying. The narrative is being pushed that my eye roll is fake, and I'm lying just to help people. Then on the same hand, if I go to two or three restaurants where I don't have the best experience, now I'm tearing down businesses, now I'm being mean, now I need to shut up. Now I need to lie. That's the thing about the internet. You can't win on the internet, bro. You do something they don't like, you say you should do this. Then you do what they tell you to do, and it's still a problem. You can't win. Just do you. I need to sit down. I can't, I can't win from this. I understand everybody going to have an opinion on the situation. You can disagree with me. You cannot like what I say. Completely understand. I'm you ain't gonna please everyone. My safety and my family safety. Look at my comment section. <laughs> they don't like me. That's what I'm can't happen is with my family or the restaurants or anybody's safety start coming into play. It's absolutely overboard. So Keith Lee goes to a couple of restaurants in Atlanta, uh, in particular Old Lady Gang, Milk and Honey, a couple of other um, restaurants as well. Old Lady Gang. There's a restaurant named Old Lady Gang. A negative review for those. So the senior citizens get a discount there. That's American Deli. Should have went to American Deli, bro. What the hell is that? American What's Deli? American Deli? Yeah. Now, to be fair to Keith Lee... Should have hit Hattie B's. Actually, Hattie B's be fucking up sometimes, too. All around, Ooh. a very mixed review of Atlanta. Now, unfortunately, a lot of people got upset at him because, you know, how dare he? How dare he say anything negative? About Atlanta. About Atlanta uh -uh. and all these black people... These black owned restaurants, how dare you? The business owners in Atlanta seem to think that their customers are there to serve them and not the other way around. They act as if their customers need them and they don't need their customers. I feel like Atlanta restaurants, they don't like to make money. I feel like they don't like people, they don't like their customers, they just don't fucking like it. The amount of people, okay, that feel like this lady is astounding. Keith Lee did nothing wrong. All he did was expose you. <laughs> so a bunch of people start making um, over food reviews, bro. Because you don't like your food. Excuses for a lot of the restaurants that Keith Lee was trying to um, criticize. We need to up your customer service. It's very irritating, especially because a a lot of people who are making excuses for these restaurants, y'all don't live in Atlanta. I have no idea what the experience is for Keith Lee. I have no idea what he was going through. I have no idea what it means when it comes to some of these Atlanta restaurants and how poor the service is, how ridiculous the expectations. I mean, that can be anywhere though, are. not just Atlanta. So keep that in mind. Crazy. So much so that one of the business owners actually responded, and even their response to what Keith was doing was just ridiculous and passing the blame on other things that had nothing to do with their actual experience. As someone who frequents here, as someone because of your religious belief, you can't eat pork. How often do you find yourself going to restaurants saying, "Well, I can't eat here because they decide that they're going to cook the, the everything else on on, on skillets that are also made with pork." But there's very few restaurants that get it right. 
Like, Very few. And when they get it wrong, you just have to chalk it up to the game. And then you're supposed to pay for it anyway. Bro, Atlanta yeah. has convinced me that Southern hospitality, that shit does not exist. Or just don't, don't give him a tip. <laughs> or just don't give him a tip. Even 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 Keith Lee himself, he has a, um, <laughs> an allergic reaction to, I think it's uh, shellfish. Mm -hmm. So there's certain um, seafood restaurants that he went to that he couldn't eat because they decided not to separate the shellfish shellfish from the um, regular seafood. That's not... that's. I that's, know somebody. If you don't give him his food by five minutes, he ain't giving you no tip. That's a normal expectation. <laughs> You gotta be quick to get that tip from him. It's a normal expectation for me to separate things. These are things that are just normal things. For whatever reason, though, in the bigger picture here is that, I, and I don't get this, black people are upset at Keith Lee for criticizing black-owned restaurants because they just believe that as black people, we're just supposed to blindly support other black people. That's the real problem. Black cool. privilege? We were just fighting white clip. Now we, now we got black privilege? Privilege? Yeah. For the reason, blacks. Them cannot accept so because you're black, your business is supposed to be booming, supposed to be good, your food's supposed to be good, your customer service is supposed to be good, all of a sudden, automatically. To black people because y'all think y'all are entitled to black dollars. That makes no sense. That's a fact. Oh my God. And what ends up happening is, is that black privilege. these restaurants, these business owners, these people who are, are a part of the customer service business, that is their job. They are supposed to be serving their customers. You're then looking out for them, yeah. Find ways to cut corners, who find ways to do the bare minimum because they know for a fact that y'all are going to support blindly just off of the fact that they are black. That's black privilege. My entire life is someone who is fat, is someone who likes to eat. Go to these restaurants. Should I start roasting them? Because over the past like five to seven years now, because instead of actually being about the food, instead of actually being about the customer service, instead of actually being about convenience, they've been more. Customer is always right. Even Mr. Krabs knows that. About aesthetics, I do not care about no. What, what's that? Oh, what, what, what's that aesthetics like? Decorations? A baby owned restaurant. I don't care about no Jocelyn or Young Jock restaurant. I do not care about these restaurants owned by these multi millionaires that y'all believe that I'm supposed to give a fuck about because they're black. They are well off. They are fine. They know for a fact they can get away with bare minimum things because they're black and they have a business in in Wakanda, whatever y'all want to call Atlanta. Y'all niggas who also call it Atlanta. Call Atlanta Wakanda. Atlanta. I get tired of that shit too. Y'all niggas never been to Africa. Y'all niggas never been to Africa, <laughs> never been to Atlanta. Y'all just were trying to be different. It's Atlanta, nigga. That's what it is. It's Atlanta. So you the call Atlanta Wakanda? The reason why I don't eat out <laughs> is the treatment you get complete depends on whether or not they know you. No idea I'm here. My family asked how long the wait was to be seated. They said an hour to an hour and a half. Yeah. Um, okay. She also said they didn't have any reservations available, so they didn't take out any number, any contact information, nothing. My family then came and relayed that message to me, and I decided to go in myself. We walked in, and we were greeted by a nice young lady, and then I met some amazing people who were eating there, and we took some pictures. God is amazing. As soon as me and my wife were done taking pictures, the lady said the table was ready. As always, I don't want any special treatment. I want to be treated like everybody else. I pay for my food like everybody else. I'm a normal person. I'm a normal customer. Things like this is exactly why I do reviews the way I do. Just because I have a certain amount of followers on social media, don't make me different from nobody. My mom, my mom-in-law, my sister, they all paying cuz. I don't know. I don't know. You know what this, you know what this remind me of? You ever played uh, um, Papa Freezers or Papa Pizzeria or Papa Pancakeria or Papa Taqueria, any of the Papa games? He reminds me of the final boss. You got all the regular customers. Then he comes in and like the food inspector. And if you, if he likes your food, he'll give you like a blue ribbon or something like that. And he's very picky about what he wants. So you make like one mistake, he's not going to like it. That's what this situation remind me of a little. Papa freezes. So I want them to be treated. Or the Papa games. So I asked how long the wait time has been today. She said an hour to an hour and a half. So which I then asked, how are you able to sit me in five minutes? This is her response. How long are we looking for as far as wait time? This is what I got, John. I didn't know y'all used that. I'm getting your table set up right now, so. You said hour to hour and a half to his wife. <laughs> Yo! Said now nah, hour to hour and a half. Now it's first come, first serve. What? Just attempted to eat there less than two minutes ago. I didn't tell her. I changed my mind. We're going to go eat somewhere else. And I said, God bless you. And I walked out. Oh, second thought. It's okay. We're we going to go eat somewhere else. So I appreciate it, though. For sure. I'm gonna be very transparent and honest. I am frustrated. Me and my family just trying to eat food. That's all we try to do. At the same time, while I am frustrated. I understand we are all humans. I and trying to give people your money. Yeah. I do not support. I do not condone 
shame in this business based on my experience. Oh, so that's the other thing. Bro, when they know me, bro, I'm Different. in there ASAP. You feel me? You want a private room. Ah, ah, ah. When they don't know you, you want to skip like, the line. All of that, bro. You want to sit down immediately. Yeah. If they don't know you, you just fuck it, bro. You might just have to wait in this line indefinitely. There's no, like, you can't, there's no way to reserve. You're just there for three hours. Unless let me try to finesse, you know what I'm saying? I've been here for three hours, man. The meal you gotta got see me. You gotta see me, even though I've been there for like 20 minutes. <laughs> And you know what's so crazy? Keith Lee, throughout his time in Atlanta, he saw that. He was like, yo, I just wanted to sit down and get some food, but there's people in these cars that are sitting. They've been waiting for an hour and a half. Don't service me. Whatever table you are going to give me, give it to those people that have been in their car facts. for over an hour and a half. Not facts. And why are you going to give it to me? And FYI, to the people in Atlanta, stop allowing that shit, bro. Why the fuck are you sitting in your car for an hour and a half? For, for, yeah, for no restaurant, I could never. I could never wait at a restaurant. I could never, unless it's like super important. Whenever, whenever that time is, but I, don't, but I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna be super important, super duper important. But no, no, don't wait an hour and a half just to eat at a restaurant. Food for mid overpriced food with crate what what bougie ass aesthetics, y'all niggas. What's aesthetics like decorations? Atlanta, go to places just so y'all can say y'all been to the places. Not because you actually enjoy the food, not because you actually enjoy the customer service, not because it's actually convenient. Y'all never heard Atlanta has good food, just the wings, that's it. Just so you can say- I heard Texas has good food. Before. That's the only reason why y'all go. That's the reason why they know they can just do bullshit. It's plenty of black people here in Atlanta who have black owned restaurants who are doing amazing things. Bro, let them hear me, dog. <laughs> Let this man moved it. <laughs> he tried to move the mic. There's plenty of them, bro. Just because I criticize one black owned restaurant doesn't mean all of Atlanta is going to go down in flames, bro. That's not how that works. There's plenty of other black owned restaurants, not only do other people go to, but Keith Lee was also inspiring, elevating, and aiding their business. And not just the customers, so just the food in general. If you just the food, what may be good to you may not be good to someone else. See, for me, for example, I don't like sweet potato, but you may like sweet potato. So it's just how your taste buzz works, basically. Anything to happen. Bro, I'm telling you, people desire what they feel like is difficult to get. If it's a two-hour wait to get into, what was that place? Atlanta Breakfast Club or some shit like that? Breakfast yes. Club. Bro, they're going to wait two club. hours because they know it's a highly desired place. If you just spam them all around the city, now it seems less desirable because there's no long line. Which I tried to tell people that. Atlanta Breakfast Club was the first place he went to. One of the first places he, he went, went there? to. He went there? Yeah, he went to. Oh shit! He went there. You know what he said? Yeah. Matter of fact, you tell me your experience on Atlanta Breakfast Club, and I'm a, I promise you, it's the exact same thing he said. You ain't even seen this shit. It was it was just like breakfast food. Okay, it but it wasn't it wasn't nothing crazy. No, it, it, it was well, okay. what did you order? Cause the shrimp and grits. Oh, okay. Ugh, grits. That's like old people food. <laughs> Yo, old people eat that shit. I've never seen a youngin eat no grits, bro. I only seen old people eat it. Yeah. You eat strength for breakfast? He told me that was a light day. It, it was. Yeah, I ain't mad at that. You really went at that Now, where did you where did you wait at? Outside. Because you can't wait inside. Yeah. Yeah. That's literally all he said. Fresh off the plane, ATL. The first place we went to is Atlanta Breakfast Club. I got it. Let's try it. Everybody wants to can. We spent. Big man zooms in on his videos like that. Forty four dollars and sixty cents. <laughs> but granted, we got food for five adults and two kids. The customer service was interesting. Why the people were nice? We got five adults and kids for forty four dollars. Okay, that's cheap. I got it. Let's try it. Everybody wants to can. We spent one hundred and forty four dollars. Oh. I thought you said 44. He said 144. Dang! But granted, we got food with five adults and two kids. The customer service was interesting. While the people were nice, the rules they had set were very unique. We initially tried to do takeout, but when we came in, they said we couldn't sit down, and there was no space at the bar for us to stand. So we had to stand outside of Why? Because the C word? And then we decided we just going to die in here. Rivers! But two people in our party stepped out for a second. Because again, we fresh off the plane, so everybody was trying to get situated. The waitress. Like I guess I can't say it on YouTube, because, you know, YouTube ready PG. But she told us she couldn't take any orders, or she couldn't do anything until everybody sat out. No water, no coffee, no drink orders. She also said they can only do one order, and there's no add ons. Like, if you want to add on afterwards, it's a wrap. One order for the whole table. She wouldn't even explain the menu to us. But again, she was very nice. I just understand that those are their rules. Dang. To me, but. Yeah, yeah, you need to me too. It's just too many rules. That is the Atlanta Breakfast Club experience. Just letting you know. Outside of the stripping. Hey, I'm walking straight out, bro. It's too many rules for me. You like that. You can't add it because he does that. Hey, is he, if I stay and you ain't getting no tip, that's for surely. <laughs> you, that's for surely. That's for surely. You're going to miss out on this tip.
outside of shrimp and grits, no, that's that, that's an experience. There's nothing wrong with that. And like Aiden just said, they could put more of them around the city. They could expand and get a bigger building. They could do those things to make it more convenient for the people who want to go so you don't have to sit there and wait an hour, hour and a half, two hours every single time you go. They want it, make it, they want you to make it feel like it's the experience, the exclusivity. So you can go home and be like, ooh, I went to Atlanta Breakfast Club today. You can put on your IG, oh my God, I got to Atlanta Breakfast Club today. And when I see it, I see a dumbass who waited in line for an hour and a half in a hot ass Atlanta sun for mid breakfast food when I can go to Waffle House, IHOP, I can cook the shit at my own crib for and half save you, yeah, save you some money. The price and for half the wait time. That's what I see. Bro, there's actually like good local restaurants in Atlanta that aren't these hype ones. Yeah. These hype ones kind of treat themselves like exclusive country clubs, bro. Yeah. And there's no sense. Yeah, country club, like, yeah. Why? If, if you think the food is fire and you want to wait through all that, it's completely on you. But on God, there's some fire food with no wait time in Atlanta, bro. So there's no need for you to do that. You can find them bitches on DoorDash. You can find them down the street. I just feel like he, I think a lot of people ask Keith Lee to go to these places. They so do. He so went. he said that. He said that as well. He said, these are places that I don't even know about. Y'all tell me to come here and I'm giving you my authentic response when I go to the like I said that's why I said like Papa Freezers it's like the um boss like the boss customer I don't know about these places y'all be telling them to go there clearly said it I don't know about these places people email me y'all tell me to keep going all the time every every single time and so I go to these places and I give you all my authentic response and to the places coming from somebody who live in Atlanta bro everything he said about a lot of these places were true this is not some made up experience these are things that even people in Atlanta experience as well and like Asian said bro there are places in Atlanta that are really good you didn't have places like this in montana but people that's not talking about it because you know it's montana you gotta drive like three hours to go to a store the hole in the wall type spots or oh, they be fire especially on the east and south side of atlanta bro people in atlanta we know not to sh actually eat in atlanta everybody know to go on the east side of town or go on the south side of town where it's actual really good food and it's not about the aesthetics come on bro. I mean, the decorations I, I don't know why people are try trying to like find something to hate on keith lee about this yeah. is a crazy thing to hate on keith he got he's getting death threats yeah. Family getting death threats. He getting death threats. People sitting here saying, "How dare you talk bad about black businesses?" Bro, they in the they're in the business of customer service, bro. That's what they're here for. But I do not. Y'all are not entitled to a positive review because we both share the same skin tone. Y'all are not. Y'all are just not. And it is amazing to me that black people have a hard time taking criticism because that's all this is. Shouldn't it be the other way around? Because yes, you're, it, it literally you're black should actually and, be. And the customers a lot of time are black. Shouldn't you be going out your way to provide them the best customer service? Why isn't it the other way around? Why is it like the customer is entitled to bless you? Like at the end of the day, bro, you are- I mean, by them walking in was already blessing you. They want to give you your mo their money. Certainly. They want to give you their money. If your shit is not fire, like niggas is not entitled to give you shit. The business owners in Atlanta seem to think that their customers are there to serve them and not the other way around. They act as if their customers need them and they don't need their customers. From the ridiculous rules to the fees that are applied to literally everything, they act as if just because they open their business in Atlanta, that their business is a luxury. Your business isn't a luxury. If anything, your business is an inconvenience to everybody something that they actually posted do you think that any reputable business would ever post something like this first of all the rules that they came up with contradict each other and they're so unserious with the things that they're saying because you can open a business doesn't mean that you should will do anything to make a name for themselves even if that name is synonymous with bad customer service and failure but again, the response is exactly how they treat their customers. None of it was shocking. It was very telling. It was very on brand. They even say, who is Keith Lee? As quiet as it's kept, I didn't know who the hell Milk and Honey was. He could have introduced you to a wider audience on a good note. But instead, this is the route that you chose to take because this is the way that you treat your customers. This is the way that you handle business. And I can only see failure for you. But some examples got to be made, and hopefully you are one of those examples. And the fact that they think like that, I just don't believe that rest restaurants like that that think like that are going to be around for a while. They're not. Because when the hype of your restaurant dies, and the food is mid, and the service is bad, you're cooked. The good thing about Popeyes is Popeyes in Atlanta has the worst customer service on earth. If they get my order correct, it's a 
damn miracle. Yep. That's all it is. But the food is so amazing. Like Popeyes is so delicious. Oh, like that chick. Back every once in a while, even though I know they could get my shit. Oh yeah, I know Agent would talk about Popeyes. That's right. Remember the OGs back in 2018, 2019. Agent used to love Popeyes. I'm pretty sure he still loves it. But he used to have merch. His merch used to copy Popeyes like design. Not like with the P on it, but with Agent on it. But with the, with the Popeyes design. It was similar to it. Top of that, this shit is expensive and out the way and takes dumb long. Yo, there's too much negatives in it. And look, at the end of the day, I don't even think he was being an asshole the way like we're no, talking about wasn't. it. Like I don't I think I think he was being as respectful as he could be given what y'all how y'all were treating him in those situations. And if and he's a food critic, my nigga. That's what I'm saying. That's he's a food critic. He's supposed to criticize. That's literally his image and who he is on the internet, bro. Keith Lee, if he doesn't already have a YouTube Keith Lee, bro, does he have a YouTube channel? I think he does. Bro, he needs to have a, his YouTube channel to have like 10 million views per video because the food community on YouTube is huge. There's niggas that go around the world to like India and try food and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Keith Lee, bro, if you watch this video, I'm telling you right now, you have the potential to be the biggest food reviewer on all of YouTube and make hundreds of millions of dollars, my nigga. Please get your YouTube channel correct, travel the world and do this shit because like people really respect what you have to say and I think it's because it's what you're saying is authentic. You feel me? You nigga they can't someone can't buy your review. But on top of that, you just like to experience different types of foods. Fuck Atlanta in America. I think he could that ass like travel the whole world doing this. He probably can't do And I I bro, I don't know if you watch food YouTube videos, but they're fucking huge. Yeah, yeah, they're they doing like five million per like the biggest channels. Shout out to Keith Lee, shout out for the positivity, my brother. You keep it pushing out there. Do all the amazing things you continue to do. We will continue to highlight all the, the lives that you change in, in the positive way. And for the people out there who um who decide to take criticism the wrong way because for whatever reason you think that being black means that I'm just supposed to immediately support you regardless of what you do. Yeah, shut the fuck up. People like you make me disgusted. So I'm sick of people. Like please, like, please let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. And until next time, we'll see you all later. Peace.